Wow, look at those beautiful prom dresses. Oh my gosh, I wish I, you know, had a reason to wear one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about prom, Jason. What do you mean you wish we're- You're my girlfriend, of course we're going together. Are we? You haven't officially asked me. Why would I need to ask you? Isn't it obvious? <sighs> I don't know, maybe so I can feel special? Isn't it special enough that I'm exclusive to you as my girlfriend? <laughs> you have not been exclusive to me. What? You literally chose to hang out with your family over me like four out of ten times. Whatever, of course we're going to the prom together. Whoa, excuse me, I never agreed to go with you. What? Don't just assume things, Jason. You have to ask me. I'm not gonna ask my own girlfriend to go to the prom with me. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll just go with someone else. Okay, well, good luck getting anyone else to ask you. Do you really think I'm not capable of attracting someone other than you? Get over yourself. You're not even that great. Like, you're literally replaceable to the left to the left. I just meant because everyone knows that you have a boyfriend, so why would they ask you? Just ask me. God, bro, will you go to the prom with me? No, but that's so forced. You have to do something, like, big and special. Like what? I don't know. Take me to Disney World and ask me in front of Cinderella's castle during the fireworks or get the whole football team to serenade me and do a synchronized dance. Just get creative. Can't I just write it on- No. I don't know what you want from me. Jason, I just want you to want exactly what I want and get it for me. Okay, and don't you want to go to the prom? No! Well, neither do I! What? What did I do? I thought you wanted to go to prom with me! Oh, guys, it looks like numbers five and six are the same question, so just skip number six, okay? Oh, I have a question. Yes, what's up? Um, it looks like number five and six are the same question, so what do we do? Can someone that was paying attention answer that for her, please? You're supposed to just skip it. Okay, well, I didn't know that, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Does anybody else have a question that's pertinent? Yes, so should I skip number six or? I'm not answering that question. Figure it out. She said you're supposed to skip number six. Okay, Lisa, kiss ass. So, you're coming out with us this weekend, right? Uh, what are you guys doing again? I've already told you three times. First, we're gonna get really drunk at Trevor's party, and then we're gonna go to IHOP and order all the food and smash it against the windows. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna pass, but I hope you guys have a good time. Seriously, you didn't come out with us last week either. I know, I'm just not really feeling it lately. You're not feeling what? Our friendship? No, 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 it has nothing to do with you. I just, mentally, I just want to stay home. I don't understand. You're gonna miss out on everything fun. These are the experiences you should be experiencing in life. Yeah, but I'm just as happy at home, so... Okay, but when you don't hang out with us, we all feel like you're not a good friend and you don't respect us. Okay, but you not respecting my boundaries kind of says a lot more about you than it does me. Excuse me? I'm inviting you out. I'm trying to include you. And I appreciate that. You're more than welcome to come over once you're done, but I don't want to go out. Wow. Have fun at home doing nothing. I'm not going to be doing nothing. I'm going to be watching the entire box set of Charmed for self-care purposes. Just suck it up and come out. Just do it for me. No, I'm not going to sacrifice my mental health for you again. What, what about my mental health? Uh, you're just a bad friend. Ditto. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Burger. What? Fries, milkshake, side salad. Okay, um, what kind of burger would you like? <sighs> Number four. Perfect, and you also wanted fries and a milkshake. Yeah, yeah, here. Oh, okay, well, just to make sure I didn't miss anything, you got a burger, fries, milkshake, and side salad? Darlin', I'm kinda in a hurry. Why am I doing your job? Just trying to avoid future hostility. That'll be $17.45. A burger does not cost $17. What is this? Correct, but you also got fries, milkshake, and a side salad, so that's $17.45. Muck shake? I didn't order all that. Oh, well then it must have been someone that looks just like you. I can take everything else off. No, 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 I want the fries and milkshake, but I want it with the burger. So when you add all those things together, it's $17.45. Oh, you lost my business. I'm never coming back. Okay, have a good day. You're gonna let me walk out? Next in line. Excuse me, I'm looking for the organic basil. Where is it? Oh, I'm not sure. That's not an acceptable answer. I don't, I don't know what- Go get your manager, pronto. I'm sorry, I- I'm sorry, I'm so uh, saying I'm sorry means nothing to me because if you were sorry, you would actually do your job. Go get a manager. Okay, if you just follow me- Th This isn't follow the leader, you don't need to treat me like I'm in elementary school, okay? Okay. I need you to go get it and bring it back to me. Now. Okay. <sighs> Where is this jagaloon? Excuse me! Oh, hey, Karen. What did you just call me? Oh, Karen. <laughs> now I really need to speak to a manager. For sure, let me know if you find one. 
That's it. I demand to know your full name. Now, Samantha. Mm hmm Samantha what? Uh, coat rack. And how do you spell that? I'm calling corporate. Sure, that's Z-Y-X. Mm-hmm. W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-G-C-B-A. Wait, slow down. My apologies. Z... Just stop. Okay, excuse me, sir. Are you a manager? Yes. Uh, this woman called me the most racist, sexist, classist name that you could possibly call a white woman. Wait, who, what? She just called me a Karen because I'm a white woman with class. Okay, ma'am, I've never seen this woman before in my life. What, so you don't even know your employees? Karen, I don't work here. Of course you do. No, she definitely does not work here. So you just mess with me for fun? Yeah. Well, I'm calling the health department. Health? De why? For race, sexism, classism! Hi, sir. What can I get you? Hey, sweetheart. I'm looking for Sarah. Does she still work here? Who? Oh, Sarah Evans. I know that she used to work here, so I just wanted to say what's up. I'm sorry. I don't know anybody by that name, but what can I get started for you? <laughs> I just saw you guys talking. I know she's in the back, so can you go get her, please? I don't know anybody by that name. You're joking, right? I know that she works here. I don't know what to tell you. Did you want to order? Man, why are you being so rude? I just want to speak to her. I've never heard of her, so you can either put in an order or I can't help you. Man, screw you. Y'all chicks are crazy. <laughs> okay, bye. Girl, he's gone. Finally, what a creep. Yeah, but it looks like he's still lingering outside, so just stay back there. Ugh, I never should have dated that guy. Did I just hear Sarah's voice? No, sorry. As a customer, I'm entitled to know who works here. Oh, okay, but you're not, though. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Uh, your hair looks good. No, I'm talking- well, yes it does, but I'm talking about something else. Uh, I can't think- Do you really think I'm stupid, Jason? I know everything, so lay it all out. Be honest. Is it already our three-month anniversary? Nope. It's our breakup date. What? You're breaking up with me? I don't know. Should I? What is going on? Who's Amanda? I which one? Amanda, parentheses, work, end parentheses. That's Amanda from work. And why is Amanda texting you at 12.34 p.m.? I don't know, I didn't even read the message yet. Okay, then I'll tell you. Can you cover my shift tomorrow? I'm sick. Oh, well, can you let her know that's no problem? Oh, is that no problem? Okay, what is that code for, Jason? Oh my god, there's no code! It oh, it looks like someone's trying to come up with a story. Tiffany, what the f- Oh no, you're not gonna turn this around on me. It's 100% you, and it's always been you. Well then, if you can't trust me, why are you with me? Jason, you know I don't have a choice. I am in love with you. Get that. Okay, then maybe work on yourself. What, so I'm the only one with a problem here? I mean, I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. This is your fault. Literally how? Hmm, texting other girls, making up stories, lying to me. The list goes on and on, Jason. Fine, whatever. Then let's break up. Fine, then I'm texting Trevor. Then I'm texting Amanda. What? I how are you gonna do this to me? Tiffany, this is what you wanted. You did this, so... Well, fine, then I'm sending him pictures. Okay, well, bye. You're going to see Amanda, aren't you? I'm not gonna go see her. It looks like she's sick. Yeah, sick with herpes. Which you probably haven't gave to me! Let's just get back together. Hey, you ready for the beach? Hey, oh, um, yeah, I don't know. Isn't it a little late in the year to go to the beach? No, it's still summer. W what are you wearing? Aren't you hot? What do you mean? It's August. Yeah, exactly. It's not even fall and you look like a walking pumpkin patch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure fall is a state of mind. <laughs> okay, but you can't just say it's fall and then it just be fall. Well, not with that attitude. You have to manifest it. Like, think of hay rides and getting lost in a corn maze. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, whatever. But more importantly... You got Duncan without me? What kind of monster do you think I am? Of course I got you the signature pumpkin spice latte from Duncan. <laughs> You're the best. For a second, I was starting to question our friendship. Do you think they would add extra pumpkin to this pumpkin cream cold brew? We should build a scarecrow. We should have a scary movie marathon. Ooh, and we should carve pumpkins. We should go get more Duncan. Hi there, let's see. What's in your chocolate peanut butter with cookie dough ice cream? So that's chocolate ice cream, cookie dough, and peanut butter. Oh, that sounds perfect. I'll have that. Perfect. Is that going to be it for you today? Yep, that should be good. And I just want to double check. There's no nuts in that, right? In the peanut butter? Yes, there's nuts in the peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. No problem. I'm sorry, did you want peanut butter or... Oh, yeah, that's fine. As long as it's just subtle. Are you allergic? I am. Deathly. Well, we have other options if you're deathly allergic. Oh, no, seriously. It's fine. I'm feeling adventurous today. Okay, here you go. Have a nice day. Excuse me, I believe there's peanuts in this ice cream. 
Correct. You should really advertise that there's nuts in this, because now I have to go to the hospital. Ma'am, I- and I'm suing you. Excuse me, do you have this in a larger size? Uh, it does not look like it. Well, I happen to know the store down the road has my size. Oh, perfect. That might be your best option, because I don't think we're supposed to get another shipment here for another week. Excuse me? Or you could always try to find it online. I just know shipping sometimes takes a little bit long. I can't believe the way you're speaking to me right now. What? I expect an apology. For what? I can feel you judging me, and I just- I won't have that. No, 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 I'm not judging you. I'm just trying to help. Uh-huh. Well, you can help by apologizing. I don't see what I need to apologize for. Okay, well, I'm not leaving the store until I get an apology. Okay, well, we close in 10 minutes, so I, I don't know what you're gonna do here. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm going home. I can make this your last day employed here. Actually, today is my last day, so you should congratulate me. Ew. Hi, welcome to this cheap and simple pizza shop. What can I get you? Hi, sweetheart. My husband and I are throwing a very elegant party this evening for some very important people. We're going to have a charcuterie dish and all that fun stuff. So which one of your pizzas would go well with a Pinot Grigio? Um, good question. I have no idea. Excuse me? I just serve the pizza. Oh, but I just want a recommendation. Just based on your expertise, which pizza would go with the wine I've selected? Um, cheese? But I told you we're having a charcuterie dish, so no more cheese. <laughs> Pepperoni? That seems a little traditional or too simple. Do you have anything more elegant? Barbecue? Too messy. A white pizza? That's racist. Pineapple? That's an abomination. That's our entire menu. No, do you guys have like steak and potatoes? No, go somewhere else. And did you find everything you were looking for today? No, I did not. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did anyone help you? Nope. I was completely ignored the second I walked through the door. In fact, all the employees rushed to the back as soon as they saw me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sure you are. Not that it's any of your business, but my great-grandmother died yesterday, so maybe some sympathy would do you well. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. You don't seem sorry. I, I just can't imagine what you must be going through. Why? Has your great-grandmother died? No. Well, I mean, she has. I just never knew her. Well, you have no idea what's going on in my life. Right. I remember when the youth actually respected their elders. <laughs> I'm sorry, was someone here disrespectful to you, or... Oh yeah, extremely. Do you mind me asking who it was? I do mind you asking, actually. Oh, okay, well... I know you youth have cameras in here, you can figure it out. It would be a lot easier if you just told me. It was you. What did I do? You're bothering me. I know it smells. Excuse me, are you the only one working here? Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. I need you to go get me a male vet tech as soon as possible. Thank you. Oh, um, actually, we don't have any available right now, but I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, I, I don't think that's gonna work for us. I'm sorry, is there a problem or... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Yes, major problem, actually. You see, my cat does have a sensitivity to females, so it might actually just behoove you to go get us a male vet tech or if you could just act more masculine yourself. Okay, so she has a fear of females? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing like that. We don't believe in fear in our family. She's just a little sensitive. Oh, okay. Yeah, so talking in a deeper voice and maybe getting some hairy patches on your face would definitely help. Right, well, I just want to assure you I'm trained just like anybody else here, but if you wanted to wait for a male, you're more than welcome to. I just am not sure when. Ugh, the management here is always ugh, <laughs> all over the place, but um, I guess you'll do. Okay, great. So if you just want to follow me. Oh, I don't like going back there. It just gives me the old heebie-jeebies. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no problem. I can just take uh, Kitty Karen. Oh, it's okay. Don't use her full name when addressing her. She gets very uncomfortable around strangers using her full name. Okay. She would much rather you call her ma'am, ms, mademoiselle, whatever. She's flexible. Sure, no problem. Great, so let me hear you practice. Um, miss <laughs> Kitty Karen, if nope, you failed, you have to say it in your masculine voice. I don't really feel comfortable doing that, honestly. <laughs> really? Because the girl on Thursdays always does it. It's never a problem, so I think you'll be fine. I'm sure. Well, how about I just don't talk to her and then we can just avoid all of this? Mm, that won't work. You see, her heart rate will accelerate very easily, so in order to keep her calm, you must chant the national anthem the entire time. Really? Uh, well, I'm not seeing any of this listed in her profile. Correct. She has opted out of putting her information in any computer, because you just never know nowadays who's going to do what with that information, you know? 
Of course, I should have known. Well, if you don't mind, I can take Ms. Kitty Karen and go on back. <sighs> okay, honey, this is where I'm gonna give you over. Okay, I know, I know she looks crazy. I know she smells. I can't do anything about that, but be on your best behavior. No biting, no scratching, okay? I know I'm gonna miss you. Okay, I got her. <laughs> Come on, Kitty Karen. Oh, Ms, ca call her Ms, please. Oh, right, of course. Your mom is fucking crazy. Hi, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. Oh, actually, we just had a gentleman walk in and said he was waiting for someone, so that might be him. Oh, okay, great. This is actually our first time meeting, so I'm not sure which one. Uh, I think it was the gentleman that's sitting right in that first booth. No, 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 that can't be him. Oh, my mistake. Maybe he's not here yet. No, 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 because if that's him, I've, th I've been the catfished. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> that better not be him. Okay. Hi, Michael? Yeah, hi, you look beautiful. You don't look like your profile picture. Really? Because I used pictures I took on my vacation this year. Weird, I pictured you with blonde hair. Really? Why? I have brown hair in all my pictures. Yikes. <laughs> Did you get an appetizer? Yeah, I got us some nachos. Oh, I won't eat that. I'm allergic. To nachos? No, obviously not. I'm allergic to lemon spice. I just can't eat that. But they're buffalo. So, Michael, do you actually work at the hospital or was that a lie too? Yeah, no, yeah, I work in the ICU. Uh-huh, and are you one of those anti-anti-vaxxers? anti -an so pro-vax- yes, I'm, I'm vaccinated. <laughs> Ooh, so you don't want to have children with me? Not particularly. You do know it makes you not able to have children, right? I read that on Facebook. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Um, well, that's not accurate, and if it was, then free birth control, right? I I'm sorry, I just- I can't be with someone who doesn't take care of themselves. The feeling's mutual. That man over there is not who he says he is. He's pulled a catfish. Uh, oh no, have a good night. I need to know who I can report him to. I have no idea. Do you have like an anonymous catfish tip line I can report him to? Because I've been victimized of identity theft. I need you to help me pick out an outfit because I literally have nothing to wear this weekend. This is cute. That's cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, they have a clearance rack. Hold on. This is so cute. I'm hungry. If it's under $20, I'm getting it. We shouldn't be here. Get out. Get out. So cute. Oh, that's cute. I bought a shirt just like this at Urban Outfitters. Why is this one so much cheaper? We should get coffee. Is that the line? It's not worth it. Let's go. This is so cute. You should totally buy this and then let me wear it. <laughs> That is so cute. Is that a new boutique? We have to check it out. It's so cute. I hate this mall. I can never find anything. Do you guys need some help over here? Finally, we need a size 8. Yeah, uh, what shoe? I just told you, my son is trying on shoes. We need an 8. Okay, well, is it for the shoe that's on his feet or the one next to his feet or the ones that you're holding or the ones that are all over my floor? Obviously, he wants the ones that light up. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going? You asked me to go get you a pair of shoes. No, I didn't. I asked you to look on the shelf and find the shoe that I'm looking for. Okay, no problem. Here are the shoes that you're looking for. <laughs> it's funny how you people put in such little effort and then expect tips. <laughs> we don't ask for tips. Well, good, because you're not getting one. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. Well, what's your rush? Where are you going? I'm going to go help someone else now. I thought you were going to help me get my son's shoes. I thought that I did. Okay, so when you argue with me, you're purchasing a one-way ticket to not getting a tip. We don't- you're not even allowed to give me tips, so that's not even a thing. My son needs a size 8. Please find that shoe. Sure, so if you actually just look at these numbers on the boxes here, you can just grab whichever one you want, okay? Are you scared you're gonna break a nail? Please grab it. I'd be happy to demonstrate so you can do it on your own next time. Oh wait, when was the last time you washed your hands? That Your hands are disgusting. I'm not purchasing anything that your dirty hands have touched. Right, well then I don't know what you want from me. Is it that hard to ask you to just do your job? <sighs> no, but if you don't mind, I'm gonna go do my job and help someone. Wait, wait, come back over here, now! Oh my god. Yes. My son threw up in those shoes over there. I need you to go clean them out. <sighs> he did what? He threw up in the shoes because they made him sick. Get out. Why is my car making that sound? I don't know. Well, you're the one always playing those car games. How do you not know? Uh, well, maybe it's the transmission. Amberjack, you know I don't like that word. What word? The T word. Transmission? Uh, it's the beginning part of that word that I don't like, okay? You know that. 
Okay, well, how are you gonna get your car fixed if you can't even handle? I just don't appreciate that they're trying to just push their beliefs on us all the time. A car part shouldn't be trans. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to unpack there. <sighs> so are you able to fix it or not? Not, I never said I could fix a car. <sighs> well, I'm not taking my car to some dirty mechanic shop. Do we get to sleep in the car on the side of the road? <sighs> well, maybe I can just figure out what's wrong with it. Okay, but if you just look in the trunk again, you're not gonna find a solution. Well then, how about I just leave you on the side of the road then? How does that sound? Actually, I really would- Don't even answer that question. <sighs> All right, I found someone that can help us. That was fast. This nice gentleman saw me and pulled over and said he can give us a place to stay tonight. Wait, a stranger? Uh, now Jackie, do you want to sleep in the car on the side of the road or would you rather sleep in a very nice house with a roof over your head? Oh, I'd rather stay in the car. I don't like to be murdered. <laughs> Come on, this guy's not gonna chop you up and put you in his freezer piece by piece and then like feed you to his dog or anything. Why would you even say that? Come on, let's go. I'm not asking you. Well, how about I just- Hey, little fella, what's going on in here? Who are you? <laughs> My name is Lewis and I'm glad I found you guys. It looks like you're quite in a pickle, huh? I don't eat pickles. Amberjack, let's not be rude to this nice gentleman. Get your stuff and let's go. No. Uh, what? I said no. <laughs> well, what if I buy you a new iPad? Really? Yeah, first thing in the morning. We'll go. Well, you're not gonna get too far without seeing a mechanic. Uh, shh, 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 I, I promise. Amberjack, are you sure it's safe? <laughs> don't worry, little dude. I'll take good care of you guys. All right, you can swipe your card whenever you're ready. Okay, and I have this coupon, can I use that? Oh, perfect. I'll just need a manager to approve the discount. Okay, no problem, be right back. Hey, I have a customer that wants to use this coupon. Do you mind approving it for her? What? <sighs> I, I'm, I'm kind of busy, can this wait? No, not really, she's, she's just waiting right now, so I need to, <sighs> well, I mean, I'm, <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> okay. <sighs> there you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, you should be good now. It doesn't look like it went through. Hold on. Oh, well, if it's not working, I can- No, 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 I'll just go get him again. Hey, sorry to bother you again. What? What do you need? The code you just typed in didn't work, so- Okay, can you figure this out in your own time? I'm trying to do something here. I mean, if you give me your code, I could do it, but otherwise the computer won't let me. You're a smart girl. You can figure this out. Just- <sighs> Okay, it's not a matter of figuring it out, it's the fact that the computer physically blocked me from finishing the transaction. And you've been working here, what, five years? Two months. Okay, well I need you to work on being a little bit more independent here, because I can't be helping you out every five minutes. Okay, but this is your job, I just need you to go do it. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, alright, uh, whatever. <laughs> Great, it looks like she actually just left. So you lost a customer? She probably got tired of waiting. <sighs> well, this is coming out of your paycheck then. <laughs> No, this is coming out of your paycheck, because I didn't do anything wrong here. You're getting written up. Hey, you look really familiar. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah, do you make TikToks? TikTok? What a strange word. No, no, not me. I've, um, no, never, not me, no. Wow, that's really weird. You look just like this one girl on TikTok. Yeah, oh, you know what? I bet you're thinking of Eliana Walmsley. I get that all the time. No, you look like Sneerix. Sne <laughs> What a weird gibberish- who? Made up word language what? Oh, that's really weird because Sneerix also lives in Tampa, so I just thought you might be her. Really? Uh, you must be thinking of Cat Stickler. No, you have the same facial features and hair color and infliction as Sneerix, so that's just really weird. Yeah, so weird because I don't even have facial features in fact, it's just like, who are you even talking about? Like what? <laughs> oh, okay, well she's not even that funny, so. Oh, wait, um, excuse me? What? Do you have any idea who I am? No. Neither do I! <laughs> are you hungry? No, not really. Oh, okay. Why? Are you hungry? No, it's fine. No, if you're hungry, we can go get food. No, I just- I don't want to be annoying. It's not annoying. It's a basic human function, so let's go get food. Okay, well, where do you want to go? I don't know. It's up to you. You're the one that's hungry. Wait, you're not going to get anything? I don't know, I might get something. Well, I'll eat anything, so if you want to pick where we go, I can find something to eat anywhere. Okay, how about pizza? No, I don't want pizza. Okay, well then how about Chinese food? I had that yesterday. Okay, well then how about tacos? No, it's too far. Well then, how about you pick something? What? No, I told you, I don't care. Well, you seem to have a problem with all my suggestions, so... Well, there's a hundred other options, and I'll eat anything. Seriously. Okay, well then how about sandwiches? Blech, no. Just pick where you want to eat, and I will drive us there! 
If you yell at me, I'm gonna lose my appetite. How about if you see something, you let me know and I'll pull over. <sighs> okay. You're not even looking. Oh, well, how about that place? Seriously, the one place I have to do a U-turn to get to? Well, if it's that inconvenient, I don't want it. Okay, well, just let me know if you- I'll just wait till dinner. It's 11 a.m. You're gonna wait until tonight? Nope. What? Hey, are you ready to check out? Yes, hi, how are you doing today? Doing good, how about you? Oh, I'm just feeling so blessed and grateful that I was able to get into your line today. Oh really, that's nice of you. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't help but notice and feel that maybe you were a little lost and I would love to help you find your way. Wait, what? Do you mind if I pray for you? I guess if you want to. Because I can tell you're not in a relationship with God, are you? I, I, I don't really think I should be discussing this with you anyway. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't mind waiting until you got off work. I would love to speak to you about Jesus Christ. No, please, no. <laughs> I, no thank you. No, seriously, it's not a problem at all. It's what I'm here for. I want to help you. You know, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> well, I really wish you would just consider it. I appreciate it, but I'm good. <laughs> anyway, your total is going to be $6.66. What did you just say? <laughs> I promise this has nothing to do with me. Did you want to add, like, a pack of gum or something? This is exactly what I was afraid of. It's just a weird coincidence, I promise. No, I've never had anything like this happen before. Yeah, numbers can be weird. I don't want any of these items. Can I just have your name so I know who to pray for? Sure, my name is Satine. Satan? Wait, no, 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 my- I knew there was something wrong with this grocery store. I'm out of here. Okay, just watch out for that snake, which is not mine. Hello? <sighs> Ew, what the? Hello? I can see you're home alone. Wait, is this DoorDash? The directions say to just leave it at the door. You don't need to call me. It's not DoorDash. Mom? What? No, I'm not your mother. I'm, I'm a stranger. I'm stalking you. Wait, you should totally add me on Snap. You sound kind of cute. Okay, I'm hanging up now. What? Uh, uh... Hello? Did you really just hang up on me? I, I I mean, I was gonna call back in a little bit, but I- Wait, are you like at my house right now? Yes, I'm watching you through the windows. <laughs> really? How'd you get through the gate? That's irrelevant. Have, have you checked the children? Bro, I think you have the wrong number. I don't even have any kids. <laughs> oh, sh really? Yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, my neighbor has like five kids and they're really annoying. So if you want to target someone, that's a good family to target, let me tell you. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Are you still home alone? Yeah, it's super boring. Well, watch out for strangers. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Stop hanging up on me. You remind me of my ex-boyfriend. Is this Connor? Ugh, not you again. I'm trying to do a job here. No, you're being rude. Do, do you have a supervisor I can talk to or something? Of course not. I killed them. Oh, you killed- well, then how are you getting paid? Stop asking me questions! Well, my DoorDash never showed up, so if you go buy a Taco Bell, could you please drop it off? God damn it! Fine! Do you want to hang out? No! Wait, what's your sign? I feel like you're a Leo. Oh my god, if you don't stop harassing me, I'm going to call the police. That's totally a Leo thing to say. You're a Leo, I knew it. Stop calling me! So, where are you gonna go for college? Oh, I'm not gonna go to college. <gasps> Wait, what? How are you going to survive? I don't know, I'll probably get a job and I'll figure something out. Just like anybody would do after college, I'll just do now. But what will your parents think? I don't know, it's not really their choice. What will you put on a resume? My work experience. You're so young to be making this choice. No one's gonna take you seriously. Okay, now I went to college and I'm severely in debt. Can you help me with that? Oh, no, absolutely not. I had to pay my way, so you're gonna have to do the same. Okay, well, can you give me a job so I can pay my bills? No, you have to have at least five years of experience to work here. Okay, well, can I talk to you about climate change and how it's impacting our environment? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. But I went to college and learned about it. 
No, no, that's just a fluke. But I thought you said people would take me more seriously. Oh, we do, just not about things like that. Okay, well now I'm depressed. Just drink more water. No, it's over, get out. Bella, come in here. Why are you slamming the door? What's going on? I can't do this, I gotta get out of here now. It's 10 o'clock at night, you're not going anywhere, and Bella, come back here. Bella! <laughs> if she slams that door one more time. Bella, what's going on? Did you guys break up or something? What should I tell her? I don't know why we're gonna hurt her. I don't know, bitch, but we gotta go. Okay. Excuse me, who is that? Mom, I just, I don't want this. I just, I need to get out of here. Okay, first of all, you just met this guy. I don't understand why this is so, this is very concerning, your, your reaction. I just, I need time to think. I gotta, I gotta go home. Excuse me, you are home. You chose to live here, so you don't get to just run across the country every time you're having boy problems. That's a terrible coping skill. And may I remind you, I'm a police officer, which means I can get his ass arrested if you want me to. But otherwise, you need to see a whole ass therapist, and we need to have a better relationship. Like what? Staying home every night, watching E! News on the flat screen? That's you, Mom. TV is your choice. I'm always reading my Kindle. Yeah, well, if I don't get out now, I'll just be stuck here. This is out of control. You are out of control. Is this Edward's influence? I want his mother's phone number right now. I want to have a talk with her. What is it? Mom, I can't give you his mom's phone number. What? Why is that so unheard of? Give me the number now. Fine. What's this woman's name? Um, Esme. What in the 1895? Hello? Hi, es Esme. Hi, your nuisance freak boy son is a problem. No, he Esme. Here, Rachel, you can be the blue one because I don't really like blue. Oh, thanks. Samantha Nicole. What? Did you start your laundry like I asked you to do? Um, no. And what was our deal? You cannot have a friend over until your laundry is finished. Mom, I know. I'll get it done. Oh, it needs to be done now. In fact, it should have been done before Rachel even got here. Okay, I'll do it now. Don't give me an attitude. I don't care who's here. You need to be respectful of me, my rules, and my house. Be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm the blue one, right? Um, excuse me. What? How many dryer sheets did you just put in that dryer? I don't know. I found two in my dryer. That is a waste of- You know what? Rachel, it's time to go home. No, mom, please- I don't want to hear it. Rachel, let's go. Okay. I know it sucks you have to go home early, and I know I probably seem like the bad guy. <laughs> Now, Rachel, I don't know what happens in your house, but in my house, I have expectations, and if people don't follow them, no one gets to have fun. And I'm sure your mom is the exact same way, right? Yep. All right, well, it was so much fun having you over. I hope we see you again soon, okay? Bye, Rachel. Tell your mom I say hi. Okay.